In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can save time and easily manage both your Instagram business page and your Facebook business page using only one app. Hey boss friends, it's Tisha. I teach new and inspiring entrepreneurs how to use online business tools to help you create your own business and become your own boss. If that sounds like you, go ahead and hit subscribe so you can be a part of the boss tribe. I understand as business owners that we have a lot to manage with our day-to-day -day operations of our business, including social media. This is why I like to recommend tools that's gonna be easy for us to use and that's gonna help us save time. And the tool that I wanna recommend for this is Facebook Business Suite, now known as Meta Business Suite. Not only will this help you save time, but it will also save you the hassle of having to use different apps to manage your social media platforms for your business. So just in case if you're not um, familiar with the Meta Business Suite, it is Facebook's social media management tool to manage your Facebook business page and your Instagram business page. If you want a full overview and tutorial of how to set that up, make sure you check out this video right here. One of my favorite things about the business suite is that you can use it on desktop or mobile. And most of the time as business owners, we're not always at our desktops or our laptops. So it's great to have something that we can easily assess using our mobile phone. It is available for Android phones and iPhones. And as I have not mentioned, it is absolutely free to use. Just go to the app store for your phone and download the app. Now let's go ahead and jump into my phone screen so I can show you how to use the Facebook Business Suite mobile app. Once you've logged into the app, it's gonna take you directly to the home page. Here at the bottom, you will see different menu options that will take you through the various sections of the app. The home page will give you an overview of your Facebook business page and your Instagram business page. If you need a tutorial on how to set up your Facebook business page or your Instagram business page, I will make sure to leave videos to those tutorials in the description box, so make sure to check that out. Starting at the top of the home page, you will see your Facebook cover photo. If you wanted to edit this photo, you can edit it directly from the app by clicking on the edit button and uploading whatever photo that you wanted to change it to. You also see your profile pictures. If you click on your profile picture, it will take you directly to your business profile page. Underneath your profile pictures, you will see the number of people that like your page and that are following you. As you can see, I am a little bit more active on my Instagram business page. From this top section, you can also create a post, create a story, promote a post, or add a photo. You can also do this by clicking on the blue create button that's at the top right hand corner. And it's gonna give you the options to create content. Again, you can create a post, add a story, add a photo, create an ad. You can also go live directly from this app. As of making this tutorial, this feature is only available with Facebook. In the future, that may change. The next section is your to-do list. And this is gonna show you anything that you need to get done. Right now, it's showing me that I have some unread comments and I have two tasks that I have open that I have not completed. This next section is just an alert section. This message will change as you use the app. If you don't wanna see it, you can simply just X out of it. This next section is a recent post. You can view your recent post. You can also switch view. So right now it's showing Facebook. I can click on Instagram and it will show me my post for my Instagram account. You can also boost a post directly from the home page. This next section, you can view your active stories. So any stories that you've recently posted, you will see that here. You can also create a story from this area. Next, you will see recent ads and you can also see the stats from those ads. This next section is your insights. You can see your trends and you can see the insights of your audience. If you click on trends, you can see a little bit more information. You see the trends, you can see insights on your content that you've posted. And then also again, you can see your audience insights. This next section is a suggestion area from the Facebook business suite. So this may look different for you when you log in. Right now it's showing me how I can grow my audience. Next is anything that is new with the business suite, you will see that information here. And then the last section of the homepage, you will see steps for success. 
using the business suite. And again, this section may look different um, when you log in for your business. From the bottom menu button, we're gonna click the next icon and it's gonna take us to posts and stories. So from here, you can view posts, your stories, any mentions and tags, your photos, and your planner. Your planner is basically like your content calendar. We're going to get back to that in just a few moments. From the post area, you can view your post by the post that you've already published. If you want to change that, you can select this little down arrow or triangle. And you can also view any schedule or drafts that you may have. You can also change the view of your post. So right now it's showing a list. So it's showing me my post from Facebook and Instagram, but if I only want to see a particular platform, I will click on list and then I will select which platform that I want it to view. So let's click on Instagram grid and it's showing me my grid of my recent posts. It's only going to show your photo posts and any videos, not reels. And this is what the Facebook feed looks like. And let's click on stories from the stories area. You can also change the view of which stories that you wanted to see. Right now it's showing the active stories. We can click on the down triangle and we can see any scheduled stories and our archive stories. From this area, you can also create a story or boost an active story. You can see your viewers to see who viewed your recent stories. And then these three dots on the side gives you some additional options. So you can boost the story, delete it, Oh, if you wanted to view it on Instagram, you can do that as well. Now let's go back to the post area so I can show you how you can create and schedule your post. So you want to just go to the top and click on the blue create button. The first step is to select which platform that you want to create a post for. You can do that by clicking on this drop down arrow. You can select both platforms or if you only wanted one, you can select that one. You can add a caption, add your photo. You can also add hashtags by clicking on the hashtag icon, then hit the plus button and then type in your hashtag. The business suite is going to show you how many posts are using that same hashtag. So you can see here, there are 45 million posts on Facebook and 96 million posts on Instagram. This is also a great option if you wanted to do your hashtag research. You can also create a group of hashtags. So after you've done your hashtag research and you can create your own group, you just add that to your posts. When you're done adding all of your hashtags, you hit add. You have your caption, your image, and your hashtags. You hit next. It's going to give you the option to publish it now. Save it as a draft if you want to come back and finish it later or you can schedule it to be posted for later. So let's go ahead and hit schedule. You can select the date that you want it to post. And then you can also select the time, hit schedule, and then hit schedule again. And it's gonna take you to your planner. Now it's gonna take a few moments for it to show on your planner and you may need to refresh it. So now you will see that it's scheduled and you will also see what platform that is scheduled for. Creating and scheduling your posts and stories is how you can save time managing your social media. You can basically create your own content calendar using the business suite. Now we're back to the menu bar at the bottom. We're gonna click the next icon and it's gonna take us to our inbox. From here, we can view and reply to messages and comments. If you wanted to reply to someone, you just simply click on their name and you can hit reply. And then from the message section, you can also do the same thing. You click on their name and it's going to take you to your inbox for you to reply to that person. Here at the top, you will have a few options. The first one is a filter. So you can filter out your messages by Facebook or Instagram or any unread messages. You can do that. The next icon allows you to search for the people that you want to reply to. This next icon is your availability. So if it's on green, that lets people know that you are available now. If not, you can click on that and it says when you will be away and you can change the status from here. Also view your message settings. The last icon here 
will also take you to your message settings just to show you what that looks like. And you will also set up automatic responses for anyone who sends a message or interacts with your business pages. For the comments section, the first two icons are the same as the message icons. The last icon is just a way to mark all of your comments as read. So the next section of the app is your notifications. If you had any notifications, you will see them here. This last section is the more tools section. You can view your different profile pages. You can create new content, create an ad, access your planner. You may have noticed that you can access the same information from different locations throughout the app. Don't let this confuse you. This is Facebook's way of making the information more accessible throughout the app and making the information easy to locate. Okay. Next, you're able to view any business feed. The next section is appointments. The appointment section is for any business that requires their customers to make an appointment. So if your business does require that, this is a great option for you. Now I'm not going to go through and show how to set that up in this tutorial, but if you would like a video tutorial on that, just comment the word appointments down in the comment section. You can also view your file manager, create events, also create jobs, view your insights, access your settings and change your settings. If you want to provide any feedback to Facebook regarding the business suite, and also if you need to get information from the help center, they have that option there as well. Okay, boss friends, that is how you use the Facebook business suite, AKA meta business suite to manage your social media business pages for Facebook and Instagram. Let me know down in the comments, do you currently use this app? Or just let me know what tool do you use to manage your social media pages. If you want more social media help, check out this video right here where I teach you a quick hack on how to create Instagram content. If you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that like button and that you are subscribed so you don't miss out on any of the good videos and content that I put out for you guys. As always, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.